Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 24 of my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Let's Play. Guys, today is the day that we build the volcano. And I know maybe some of you guessed it, maybe some of you didn't guess it, I don't know. All I know is that I have some of the stone over here and then the rest of it's back at the house. I, If I have to get more, I'll get more as needed, but... Guys, this, <laughs> this has been a moment I've been looking forward to for a while. Planning this build out has been awesome. Now, when I say planning, I mean mentally. I have never built a volcano in Minecraft, so that's the fun part, right? That's, that's, right? That's the fun part. Um, I genuinely don't know how to do this. I do know that I'm going to need to figure out where on this island do I want the volcano, right? Oh, yeah, and my toe is definitely broken, by the way, which really sucks because we're going out of town very soon. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm dedicating an entire recording day to this episode, so please leave a like on the video. If we could get 10,000 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so like I said, we need to figure out the bounds of this volcano. And it, it is somewhat difficult, you know, because you're on the ground, so I'm going to build up periodically, and I'm going to see if I can kind of lay out some little markers where I want everything to go. And once I figure out a good game plan, I'll come back and uh, we'll discuss... Okay, guys, well, I have a rough outline of where the volcano is going to be. Um, I know it doesn't take up the whole island, but like I said, I want to kind of terraform the island and make it come up to the volcano. <laughs> that way it's not just a big flat thing. Uh, but this is still absolutely massive. Uh, to do this in one episode is going to be uh, it's going to be difficult. So I figured I'd just come back. I'm, I, I think I'm just going to start by just building them upwards and I'll film some of it. And then once we get like the wireframe of it done... Um, then I'll film some, you know, filling it in and whatnot, because we still have to do the inside of the base, too. I'm, I'm not going to promise I'm going to finish the interior, but we'll at least get the space where we're going to move into. Because our base is way over yonder. That's where one of the ocean temples is. There's another one right there, and then there is another one that's actually really close right over there. I don't know why it won't render in. But yeah, let me break myself down, and then we'll start building a little wireframe. All right, so I've been looking at Google Images for a couple of weeks, looking at volcanoes, and... Volcanoes come in all shapes and sizes. Some are kind of short and squat. Some are really tall and jagged. I think mine's going to be kind of a mix between them. And uh, <laughs> I feel like starting on the corner is the hardest. So let's start on like one of the edges. I mean, to be honest with you, there's not really an edge, right? But we're just going to... We're just going to start out here. The thing is, is that nothing about this can be even, right? Like this is... It, it, it's got to be organic. And uh, when I'm building the wireframe, I'm going to try to keep... Okay, can't have torches. Uh, when I build the wireframe, I'm going to try to keep that in mind. Um, but as I build this, guys, I'm sure that... You know, I hope... <laughs> you can see by the thumbnail how it ends up looking. So I hope that it does end up looking pretty good. I just know it's going to be rough to get there. And it's also going to be very large to get there. Like, it's... it's <laughs> It's a volcano. It's it's a pretty big thing, right? Like it's not a it's not a small thing by any means. So we have to decide how high up we want to go. And <laughs> based on oh my gosh, I thought I would. I don't know if I can MLG bucket from this high. So we're just gonna put we're just gonna put some safety water down, just to ensure that we do not die. That's actually you know we should do that because oh I need to build scaffolding. Ah, well, hey, the, hey, 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 before we do any more of this, let's get scaffolding because I am not going to do this without scaffolding. <laughs> it's not going to be possible. You know, but we have one little kind of edge and man, maybe that's too steep. And I'll kind of figure this stuff out as I go. Yeah, I feel like it's no, maybe not. I mean, how big is the hole in the middle of the volcano? Like, are we going to have a giant crater in the middle? I don't know. But yeah, let's head over to a jungle. I actually know where one is. I think it's in the opposite direction really far that way which is fine but i'm gonna put my stone up and then uh yeah i'll meet you guys in the jungle we'll get some bamboo going oh yeah and we also need string and i think i have some at my base <laughs> oh gosh just looking at that oh this is gonna be a fun build i've never built anything organic or man-made mountains i've never built anything even similar to this so but i'm confident i can do it it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a lot and it's gonna be a lot now, you guys also have to remember, I don't have a beacon, so I've been using this pickaxe, which is probably... I don't think it can be repaired again. I don't remember if it's said too expensive or if it was just ridiculously high experience level, but this pickaxe is only efficiency 4. It takes a while to get all this stone, um, and I know the beach looks huge, but I, again, it's going to kind of slope up towards the volcano. It'll all make sense eventually. It'll all make sense. So I'm going to head over to the jungle that's way over yonder, and I'll meet you guys there. We're going to stop by the house, though, and get some string. 
It does feel good to be back home. And yeah, the shaders are off while I build this mega project because I have to have my render distance up really high. I don't know if we'll end up turning them back on or not. It just depends. And we do have a good bit of string. What is the recipe for these? Okay, so it's just one piece of string per six. So this will be enough. I don't remember. Do we have any bamboo? We have a little bit, but that's that's not going to be enough. So we still got to head over to the jungle. So I guess I had forgotten, but I went to that jungle, which is the closest one, and then realized there's no bamboo in it, but then I got lucky, and there's bamboo right here. So our inventory is pretty... Oh, we don't have a sword with us. <laughs> it's okay. I think we... maybe a wood one will be quick enough. I don't know. We'll find out. Because, yeah, if my memory serves me correctly, can water break it? No? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't even have an axe. We can <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. That should be enough, right? Like, I mean, we just need we just need a wooden axe. And if we need to, we can get... Well, we can't even get cobblestone because we have silk touch. So, this better be... Not an axe. What am I thinking? Yes, a sword. Okay, does this... Oh, it's instant still. Okay. I'll make two of you because I have a feeling you're going to die fairly quickly. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just do this. That way we only pick up the boo. My boat's still over there, but we, we'll make room for it. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to collect an inventory. Oh, wow, that did not last long. <laughs> I'm going to collect an inventory full of bamboo. It shouldn't take too long. Like We'll see how much two wooden swords gets us. I bet it's pretty close, though. No, not even close at all. Well, okay. Let's see how much scaffolding. Well, actually, we got to pick all this up first. Okay, well, I also forgot a bed, which is, is just great. But let's just see how much scaffolding would this even be. I mean, that's quite a bit. Oh, we don't have any more strings. So there's no point in getting more bamboo. Okay, that that is probably enough scaffolding, I'd say. Like, probably more than enough. So I'm going to drop this stuff off. We don't really need that. And now begins the long trek home, which hopefully I can just use my boat for. Hopefully the rivers connect or something. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so now that I've arrived, we need... Man, that was a long boat ride home. There was a little strip of land I had to run over, but we, we were very close to just going in the water, which is nice because it doesn't take as much food. But let's see... Huh. I think this chest is going to have something I need. So I know this is kind of excessive, but like... I really don't want to, like, fall and die. So I'm going to do a full stack of bucks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them bucks now. And we're going to put water under each one of these. Because, guys, if, you, if I fall and die, that would be the worst thing. Building your mega base in hardcore, and then you fall and die. Like, do you, do you, do you know how bad that would feel? <laughs> that would feel terrible. Okay, so I will put these in here, and we will just splotch some water down. I don't know the exact way I'm going to do it. I just think I think that there's more than 16 of these. I don't know. We'll kind of find out. But yeah, I'll put it kind of in the path of when it gets higher. So like, for instance, I'll do one on camera. We'll go like this. And then we'll put a water down like right there. Something like that. That way, if I fall from a very high height, I have a chance of saving my life if I can't hit, hit an MLG bucket. Actually, I think we have one extra bucket. So I guess there's 15 of these. I don't know. There's... It, I don't remember, but we have all the water down now, and it looks kind of silly, but I promise you, if, if, I, if I'm if i going to fall, you know what I mean? So it's 15 buckets, so cool. Um, I don't know how much scaffolding, but surely that's enough. And we can grab our stone out of here. Which chest did I put it back into? I guess it was in this one? Oh, whatever. Okay, so we got to figure out. <laughs> we do have to figure this out. I don't know if this is too steep or not. Uh, I'm going to play around with a few of these, and we'll kind of see where we end up. But that's the thing is that these are not like, you know, this isn't the exact shell is going to follow this. These are just some of the guides. Now, this one is more of a diagonal one. So I guess I'll go up like, you know, a couple blocks and then, you know, kind of kind of do it like this and then go over, you know, and then go up. But, you know, you have to kind of vary it. And I don't know how to do that and make it look good. So let's see if I can build this one and then I'll come back and look at it from the ground and uh, see how she looks, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I'm i nervous to do this, but ah, it's going to be fun. Ah, doesn't it look beautiful from up here? I can just and fall straight into the center of the water. Look at that. So I think that these are too steep. Um, and the reason being is that here. Well, let me sleep and I'll come back. Okay. So my reasoning on why I think they're too steep is that it, it, it I don't really want to go like a whole lot taller. And maybe I will, but like from here it only moves over like I don't know 
this many blocks, like to here. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I know the inside of it's going to be fairly, you know, massive. But I don't think the circle... I, actually, you know what? May, maybe this will work. You know what? We're just going to go for it. And then if we... <laughs> maybe that's not the best move there. Um, I am going to move this one to be like right there. I think that's more in line with the center. So let me build all these bad boys up. Just kind of in the same way. This one needs to be somewhat diagonal. I don't know. It's kind of hard to like keep track of how to do these exactly. Like I'm not going to lie. It actually is pretty tricky. So... I'm trying my best to like do it, but oh, dude. Okay, so let me finish a few more of these. Maybe I'll finish all of them. I don't know, and we'll come back and we'll see how it looks. I'll tell you what, though, it really is the funnest part having these little water pads to fall into. Also, you know, usually when you do a project like this, you'd probably have an elytra. I don't. <laughs> okay, guys, <clears throat> I've done like maybe two thirds of them. Yeah, I have about a third or three fourths of them, and. Uh, <laughs> I kind of marked somewhat at the center, as close as I can kind of feel like the center is. And I don't know if this is the shape I was going for, because if I look at it, like, it, it's so hard to look at it, like, and, and try to determine, like, is this the shape I'm looking for? Let's, like, see if we can look at it from the side, maybe. Okay, so, like, from this angle, I think you can see it a little bit better. It's definitely going to be a very steep... Well, that one's kind of clean looking. It's definitely going to be very steep. You know what I mean? But, like... That's fine. It's just the hole in the center is going to be huge. Maybe we can make a base in the lava center. The actual mega base is going to be inside the volcano. Um, but maybe we can make some sort of like... I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know, guys. But it's looking... What was that noise? It sounded like a bee or something in my ear. Um, it's definitely turning out pretty well. I'm happy with it. It's, it's good to see it finally come to fruition. It's just, it's going to be one of those volcanoes that looks more like a geyser or something, I guess. I don't know, but it's still going to be, it's still going to be our volcano, okay? It'll be a, it'll be a neo-original volcano or something. Maybe these could be the fins that kind of stick out of the volcano. You know how there's like kind of ridges in between, like, you know, maybe the volcano could be kind of shaped like that. And they kind of come back in. And those could be like the ridges that go up the side. I don't know. We'll kind of play around with the design. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, but let me finish these, then we'll come back and talk about it some more. And then we get to do the fun process of doing stuff like that and filling it in and going up and making that organic, which is oh, a whole other process. But I think we're going to have enough stone, guys. I may have to go get a little bit more near the end, but I think we'll have enough. I'm glad I got all those buckets because I'm going to need probably an inventory or two full of lava buckets to make this work. So, yep, I'll see you guys just a bit. Let me finish. I got to say, it definitely looks cool from up here, um, although it raining... I don't know like I feel like it's not I feel like it's too steep dude I don't I really don't know guys I I don't know maybe maybe I need to look at some more pictures of volcanoes uh cuz I mean look it's easy to turn it's easier to turn back now than it would be in the future but like uh, I don't know let me let me do some dwelling on it Okay, well, I've been looking at a lot of Google images and there ain't no volcano that looks like this so we're gonna I I don't know. I, I don't want to just like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me finish these and then we'll see if I can like it more. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking and I think this is fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I also don't want to remove it, but I don't think that it needs to be removed if I'm honest with you. Um, sorry if you can hear my dog snoring. I can't prevent that. You know, he's an old man. You know, he, he's got to have his sleep. So I'm going to kind of shape out. Okay, see that was too wide there. I'm gonna kind of shape out, okay. Like the little cavity that goes between these. And then, you know, kind of kind of make like a rough outline of where I kind of want the, uh, you know, the, the curvature of the volcanic ridges in the side. Basically where I want these things to go. So I'm gonna kind of connect them between there. And as it goes up, it'll get kind of steep and kind of connect to the top, but it'll give it that ridged kind of volcanic look which I think is, you know, going to be an integral part of the design of this thing. Now, I don't know, like, the exact shape. Okay, see, like, this one's tricky, right? Because this one's kind of big. So, we'll kind of figure these out as we go. Um, you know, this one has to be very gradual. And I know it's kind of hard to do it, but... Yeah, something like that. If you just kind of walk in place and walk in place, you might get a few missed places. But you'll get a better idea of the rough shape. See, now that one isn't like a super big ridge. 
And if we wanted it to, you know, be more of a ridge, you'd kind of have to connect it over here and then kind of, I don't know, maybe like go in a little bit like right there and then kind of something like that so that it ends up being kind of more like a ridge. Now all these shapes are going to have to be built up in a way that makes them look a volcanic. Oh, this one's going to be a trickster, dude. This one's going to be a real trickster. And then we kind of come back around. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it looks organic, that's for sure. So I am happy with how it's turning out in that regard. And now I have to do this the whole way around. So let me get the base of this thing built. Because you've, you've seen it once, you've seen it enough times. There's not really a whole lot to it. It's really just a whole... Okay. It's really just a whole bunch of block placing. In a way that hopefully will satisfy the needs of an organic build. I just... I don't know. Let me, let me get these things done, because I'm sure I'll have to go back and mess with a few of them anyways, and it's going to take forever, so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, well, I have finished my little, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, the texturing of the base, and now we're gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna build a wireframe up or if I'm just gonna start building it up from the ground up. I really have no idea. Um, if we do a wireframe, I'd kind of like to go up. How, how tall can you go with these things, by the way? Like, if I wanted to get up, like, literally all the way up there, is that, is that a thing? How tall will they go? Okay, that's not right. Well, let me go all the way to the ceiling. Hey, it actually did. Okay. Let's go up there and let's check this out. Okay. We should be almost at the top here. Did I judge the, the side of this correctly? Usually if you look straight up, you can, you can do it pretty well. Hey, cool. So if we look at this, you can kind of see what I'm going for. You know, the texture of the, the volcano should have little ridges. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll kind of figure it out as we go. And if we need to change how like the shape of the volcano is, we can kind of do that as we build. Because in the grand scheme of things, that is not that many blocks, right? The most blocks are going to be on the walls of it. So I'm going to get to work on building some of it. And I'll kind of give periodic little updates throughout. And uh, yeah, enjoy the volcano mega base. You know what, guys? Upon further inspection, I'm going to remove this. <laughs> I'm going to remove all of these. I'm going to build them all back again. And I'm going to see if I can end up with a structure that I like because I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to start off not liking the frame of it, you know, like if the, yeah. So let me remove all these. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Good thing we have scaffolding though, right? So I'll come back whenever I've kind of finished it and we'll see how it looks. I will film the satisfying part just once for you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> nice. Now it's a rain and scaffold. So. I think, I don't remember, <laughs> I, I don't remember which block it was, was it this one right here? I think this was like the main block, right? So I'll have to break all these little ridges and stuff, oh no, it's gonna be night. I have to make it home before it's night every time or else it just gets really bad. So what I'm gonna do when I rebuild these is instead of going up like three blocks and then going over, I'll only go over, I'll only go up like maybe three at a time and uh, maybe that'll work. Well, that was easily one of the more painful things that I've had to do. Removing all those was no fun, but I'll do the example of like building one. So like I try to look towards the center and I see I need to go a little bit and to the right. So when I build this now, when I go up, you see, I'm going to kind of like only go up maybe by a few blocks each time. And hopefully that will lead to it being less, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like less... Okay, see, I'm already kind of turned the wrong way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up breaking it a little bit and kind of coming back home and seeing where I need to end up. So it, it it is a tricky thing. I guess I just need to kind of go to the this way, but you know sometimes I'll go up two, sometimes just one, sometimes maybe you know maybe I'll go up three right there, but then you know I'll I'll compensate by only going up like two for a little bit or one or something like that. <laughs> this is such a tricky thing. I, I realize now that it's it's a lot harder than I thought it was to build these like organic structures, if you will. 
Um, but I'm going to try to get near the center somewhat with these now. And then maybe that'll kind of lead me to like success or something. So let me build this one out. And I realize now that all these water buckets, I'm going to move them because they're not in a very good spot anymore. Just because of the shape that I'm taking this in. So give me a little bit. Let me finish this one. I almost just fell there. So I really got to focus on these. It's hard to talk and do this because... I don't know if I fall I know it's at stake and I don't I don't want to die building a mega base that's not the hill I want to die on literally so we're already pretty tall and we're not really that close to the center but I mean as you can see like well I did just go up by like no this one only went up by two yeah I don't know maybe I'll go up a little bit more something like this and we'll just kind of build a bunch of these and uh yeah I don't know I'll see where I end up once I build one of them Hopefully, yeah, I still do have a water bucket. Okay, that's that's better, at least. That's better, at least. So, yeah, let's look at it from the ground. I can MLG bucket this. Oh, wait. <laughs> the water's already fallen. Okay, so, yeah, that's that's a lot more of the angle I think I should have gone for originally. I don't, I don't really know what I was going for when I first did it. I don't know, okay? But, hey, at least I learned. And this, yeah, this looks a lot more volcanic of a shape. And I know it may not be as big as some of you were hoping, but this is not the whole mega base, right? Like, there, there's a lot of stuff around here that we have to, like, build. And that's going to be done on live stream. So if you're not in my Discord server, link is in the description. You should join it because you're going to miss my live streams if you don't. Not because, you know, I like, I'm going to make you miss them. But they'll all be uploaded after the fact, too. So you'll never, you know, you can always go back and watch them or whatever. But YouTube is terrible about sending notifications for live streams up. So if I kind of line up this and this, I mean, we end up close, right? Like if you kind of want to, like with this one, I'm going to look at this angle and I'm going to be like, okay, so I need to go more diagonal than anything and end up kind of up there. And hopefully they'll end up in a circle and uh, yeah. So now I'm going to build these again and then I'll come back with hopefully a nice wireframe that looks good. Okay, it is getting dark, but I have the last piece down. Let's go sleep and uh, look at this thing because it looks a whole lot better. I know right now it looks really weird and there's some I may want to redo, but... It's looking a lot better than it did, that's for sure. That's for sure. Alright, so let's like run out here to the perimeter of one side, and then we're gonna look at it. Because I, I'm telling you guys, it's here. The volcano is here. Now we just have to... Now, it is a little oblong, I'll admit. There's a few spots that maybe aren't... Uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's not gonna be a perfect circle, because if you look up there, you know, it's kind of misshapen. But I don't think volcanoes are always like super round, right? So you can see kind of that oval shape there. You can kind of envision it in your head, right? I and mean, maybe I can put, edit like a thing in there. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do those same ridges on the bottom. I think the only reason I was doing that was because it just kind of looked bad otherwise. So I'm going to go around and I think I have enough. I don't know where my mistake is in there. I think I have enough stone to probably, I still haven't had to get any stone, I guess, because I just destroyed the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm just going to kind of round it out between this, the sides like this, something like this, you know, and, and then kind of put them like over here and I don't know guys, l let me get the base done. We'll try that. Okay guys. Well, I've completed the base as you can see, and it is nice and rounded. Like it's, it's not bad. Um, and I think that connecting this, you know, kind of going up here is going to be a lot easier than it was, you know, whenever I was going to do it before. I don't know exactly, oh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, um, you know, whether I, you know, kind of do it layer by layer, um, you know, some, <laughs> somehow, some way though, we're going to end up with a volcano and now I just got to build them. Maybe I'll do it one section at a time, um, but I have to kind of follow, like, look, let me explain this. Okay. I was going to say, I'll, I'll cut and get to the end, but I, I have to kind of follow how this thing goes up, right? So if it goes up by like, let's say right here, it goes up two. right here. It only goes up one, which is fine. Um, but this, I don't think, I, I think this is a more therapeutic thing. Um, maybe we can time lapse going up it, but it's just like, because of the fact that I don't have replay mod, it makes it really kind of awkward to watch because I'm going to be like, you know, moving around a lot and that's not fun to watch on a time lapse as first person. And you know, if I put myself third person, <laughs> it's not really going to be much better, you know, cause I can't, I, you can't, you can't build in third person, but you know. See, this kind of connects over here, but then, like, it's like, what's this? So maybe we'll go up 
like just one on top of this layer or something in some spots and i don't know i'll, I'll kind of come back in with a pickaxe and kind of like you know make it look more uneven because there's definitely some parts that are going to be you know easier and harder but i think for the most part we're we have a good base and we just got to build it up to the top and then we're pretty much done it's not going to take that much stone i know it looks like it's going to take a lot but like, no, nah, it's really not going to be too bad, which is nice. So I won't have to get any more stone, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to check our stone supply soon. But yeah, and then we just kind of build this thing up. And that's one section. And then there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Only like 21 more to go. <laughs> so I'll get this one section done. Then I'll come back and we'll uh, see how she looks. And hopefully it uh, look, ends up looking pretty good. I'm excited. Genuinely. Okay, guys. Well, I finished one of these sections, and it took me about 15 minutes. Um, so I'm hypothesizing the rest of these sections are going to take about three hours or so. Um, I had to put torches down because I promptly realized that this is going to make a lot of darkness. But I know you can't really see anything from up here. But it's going to be nice having, like, lava flowing down off of it and stuff like that. Um, of course, I'm going to have to shape it still. Like, like th there's some parts, like, right here. Like, obviously, like, this needs to be, like you know, somewhat different than it is now because it just looks strange. Um, and there are quite a few areas that are like that on this thing. Um, but that's just stuff I can do on a stream um, because it's hard to see it, you know, when you're up here. Like if I were to come to the ground, look over here, let me do a little MLG bucket. Do another one. Yeah, dude. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like right there, that needs to be fixed. But you can kind of see it taking shape. And then this is just going to have to go. <laughs> now we get to do another one. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to have to go get some more stone, I think, out of the chest. Um, I already had to get it once, but I'm going to have to go back to the actual like base over there, the little campment, and grab some stuff. But yeah, guys, things are going pretty well. I'll come back when... I don't know. I, I don't know how much of it to film because there's, there's not... There's not a whole lot of like content in this. It's more so like getting it done is going to be the exciting part, but it's definitely been a journey to get to this point and I'm happy and, and just very grateful that I can actually build something this big and that it's going to look good. I hope. I mean, you guys know it, it kills me because you guys know how good it looks because of the thumbnail. Um, I'm not going to know because, ugh, well, you know, I can't see the future, but yeah, I'll finish this section and then a few more. Yeah, I don't know how many I'll finish before I come back, but hopefully we come back with some good, good progress. Guys, it's taken shape. I'm so hyped. So we still have a lot to go. I always come back right before it's about to be night. Uh, we still have a lot to go, um, but I finished like, you know, a decent sized chunk of it over here. You can see and, uh, you know, maybe this is like a quarter of it or so. And, you know, it has a lot of shaping left to go. Um, but I think once, yeah, if we would have kept the original, like, super sheer, like, walls, it would have looked really wrong. Um, but let's go on the inside and let's look at it. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's kind of fun to build, I'll be honest. It's really not that difficult, but you can see it's kind of taking shape in here. I don't know how we're going to build the inside. Uh, I'm going to leave that guy's, you know, kind of up to you. You can put it on my Discord suggestions or whatever. Um, but we'll at least get the exterior done in this video. Like I said, I, I there's no way I can finish it. But here, let me sleep and come back. All right, there we go. But I am happy I put the torches down because, yeah, mobs will spawn in here like crazy, I assume. Um, but, yeah, I want to have a beacon in the middle. You know, it would have been nice to have a beacon and stuff. I'm looking for I'm probably going to do this one next. This one looks kind of fun. Um, I've got a very good idea of how to do it now. You know, when you do something for so long, you, you start to get in the, you know, the groove of it or whatever. And uh, a good way I'm learning to texture this thing is by messing up kind of on purpose. And instead of using my water bucket or something, right? Like if I need to get up to the next layer, right? I'll, I'll just add, you know, a few blocks here and there, just like this. Uh, you know what? Sure. Like that's fine. You could, you could incorporate that into the, into the wall. And then you come up here and then you, you kind of have to figure it out. I, I don't know. I've usually been going up by like two blocks or so each time. And uh, it seemed to work out pretty good. I'll try a time lapse on this wall and we'll see how it works out. Maybe it'll look okay. Um, and then after the time lapse, I'll probably finish the whole thing. Um, cause I'm going to need to eat here soon. This is going to be a whole day project. I've already been working on this episode, like three and a half, almost four hours. So please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. 10,000 likes again would be absolutely amazing. And this part is kind of tricky. I think this is going to be a three high one here, which is fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think time lapses look very good on this. It's not a very satisfying, I don't know. You know what? No, we'll do one. Enjoy.
And there you go, guys. There is another wall complete. And uh, if we were to venture down, which it's really not that bad. I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's, it's crazy to think that I built something this massive. I've never undertaken anything like this. Like the pyramid is a pretty easy thing to build because, you know, you can't build it wrong. But this is so much more freeing to build, right? Because you can do whatever you want. Um, but here's how that side turned out. It looks great. It even kind of naturally has those ridges that I was talking about. Now, like I said, there's a few spots and things that I'm going to come back and kind of fix. Uh, maybe we'll do some of that on live streams. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm really happy with how this thing's turning out. So let's finish it. When I come back, you, I'll, I'll come back like at this view and then we'll be able to walk around the whole thing. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we're three hours into this and we're halfway done. Half of it is done. I'm kind of proud of this. So if we look at it from the inside, it looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a few spots I want to fix. We'll do them on streams, like I said. But, dude, I'm really happy with how this thing's turning. Maybe this isn't a half. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look at it from that angle out there, though. Um, oh, well, I guess I could just break through the wall. Okay. So I'm just happy that we're going to have it. And I ran out of steak, so I had to go get some bread back at the house, which is okay. But it's not my preferred, uh, not my preferred food source here. Yeah, look at this thing, dude. We're literally gonna have our very own volcano. That is so cool. I can't wait to put lava down the side of it. It's gonna be sick, dude. Okay, well, I'm gonna spend, I guess, the next three hours. Hopefully it'll go by quicker since I kinda know what I'm doing now. I'll spend the next three hours finishing this bad boy up. Uh, but yeah, until then, guys, I will see you when I am done. I know I said that last time, but I really will this time. I just wanted to come back with the halfway point update. You want the good news? Where the good news? <laughs> Guys, it's complete. The entirety of this volcano, I mean, not really. Like, we still have a lot to do, but the main part of it is done. Look at it. And there's <laughs> there's going to be mobs inside. It, 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 it's been an adventure. It's been an adventure, not because of the mobs. Um, but my foot is, is feeling better. You know, you guys know I kind of, like, broke my toe. I, like, stubbed it really hard, like, two days ago, and I broke it. That was fun. And, uh, yeah, it's taken about, I want to say about six hours to complete this thing. Like, seriously, about six hours. I put this water down. I need to take it back up. It's not helpful. It doesn't do anything for you. So, we'll just go ahead and take that up. And I think it's appropriate if we were to take this up. This is supposed to be, like, the center point. But, you know, we can kind of see where the center is. And I like it. It's not perfectly round. It's, it's, it's beautiful from the outside. So, let's sleep so that it can stop raining. Um, but let's just take a second just, just to look at this thing. Never again. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Never again. I think this is like a true mega base, though. I mean, it's not done yet. And we're actually going to do an interior this time. Unlike the pyramid. We kind of did. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Yeah, let's sleep. And then uh, we'll go outside. Check it out. Hopefully nothing spawns. Please don't spawn. Okay, so I'm going to take all of my buckets. Uh, and then we're just going to basically empty them all out. And we're going to go get lava. Because that, that's what I've been excited about. You know, I said I wanted to texture the outside. We can totally texture the outside because I'm just going to remember where I put the sources at. Um, you know, like the top, like the cauldron area, we'll build a little uh, little platform to put lava in. And it, it'll be pretty easy to do. Um, but I do need all these bad boys empty. That way I can grab as much lava as possible. I don't even know how many buckets I should make. Um, well, I can only make four more. Uh I guess I should use this thing. But yeah, this episode is I taken a lot longer than I thought. And, and I'm not complaining. Like, it, it, it's been pretty fun, like, honestly. But I, this is not something I think I would ever take on again. Building a building a volcano or something. At least not in one day. Uh, you know, I, I didn't build the island, you know, just today or anything. But, like, I, I, <laughs> like I'm going to put a door on the volcano. Uh, yeah, nailed it. And we'll just kind of... Sure, there we go. Here is the volcano. Now, obviously, there's still a ton of, like, texturing to do on the outside. You know, a, a little bit at least. Um, but I'll give you a nice, like... I, I, I can't really... Well, actually, you know, I can turn off bobbing. Hold on. Oh, yeah, and for some reason, I had the clouds turned off. But now I turned off bobbing, so you can see whenever I move. I Some people like that. I think it looks so weird. But I can do a nice, like, time lapse around the thing, so you can actually see the cave. So, enjoy this cinematic masterpiece.
Okay, and as you can see, I have the, you know, the cinematic camera on, but... Okay, let's turn that off. <laughs> let's turn bobbing back on. Uh, much better. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just used to my head bobbing whenever I move. But yeah, dude, the... Ah, let's go on top of it again, because it's kind of fun. I'm pretty sure I can parkour my way up. Um, at least most sections. Uh, the reason I have the scaffolding there is there's a few sections where, like, if I would have built the rim where all, like, those uh, little skeletal pieces connected... <gasps> Uh, sorry, it would have looked really, really bad. Oh, oh I have a pickaxe with me. <laughs> uh, so l let me get to the top real quick, because I mean, dude, this thing is absolutely massive. Like it true, it truly is just absolutely massive. And the best part about it is, like, you know, every time we go onto it, we can kind of change it, and like it, it honestly doesn't matter. If anything, it'll just add more variation. You can only do so much when you're just, you know, building and, and you know, you're, you're on the grid. It's just, it, it's hard. It really is to add all that variation. But right here, I had to go in and change all this to make it kind of flatter. But yeah, the stone placing noise, I hate it now. <laughs> but that's how she looks from up top. So it's fairly round. So my plan is to like build, you know, maybe a few blocks down. Um, we'll build like a pan in here and then just kind of fill it with lava. Then we'll go grab another trip of lava and uh, kind of find some areas on the side just to run it down. Because, I mean, guys, it's a volcano. <laughs> we got to do that, right? All right, so what I'm going to do now, I grab the lava from underground, put it in the chest, and now I need to build the pan that the lava is going to actually sit in. So I'm going to go around this whole thing, build a rim of like, you know, five blocks, and then I'll kind of round it out and then go down a block just so that the lava has some like depth to it. It's not just on one big flat plane. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and we can add the lava and have some fun. Okay, well, I have the first kind of rim done and then each one is kind of smaller and it'll go down by a block. <laughs> but my exit is tr I'm being trapped by a creeper. Um, now, my choices are knock him off the side or risk of blowing up my volcano. I think we'll just do the ladder and knock him off the side. <laughs> That's satisfying. Okay, so I figured I'd show you what one of these looks like, and then I just have to go down a block, and uh, yeah, we'll start on the next one. Well, guys, the roof area is complete. I know it's dark and it's hard to see, but there's now a pan up there where I'm going to put the lava. I brought my sword because mobs started spawning just n n not like a ton, but I have a feeling if I come down here and I come back up, there's going to be a ton. So the lava will prevent that, which is nice, but I'm happy to say that this is pretty much complete. I, like, I, I am almost out of stone, so we're going to have to live stream stone gathering and stuff like that for molding the outside. Uh, live stream sand. Ah, yeah. okay. Can creepers come down this? I don't want to lose my world like when I built the... <laughs> I finally built something cool. No, okay, we're going to go on top. <laughs> we're just going to go all the way on top. Uh, did I bring my water bucket? Oh, I didn't bring my water bucket of all the things. I have a water bucket and I didn't bring it. Dang it. Um, I go oh, wait. I guess I could still fall and I'd be okay. I have good armor now. I need, I, I need to remember. I wish I had more steak, but it is what it is. Now, I don't know how far each of these, like, lava buckets is really gonna go. Um, like, you know, in terms of- Oh, I forgot how bad knockback is for skeletons. Like, literally just helps them. Did you see that arrow just bounce off of me? What the world was that? It is helpful for creepers. It is helpful. Um, but yeah, I'm not so sure how far the lava is going to go. I feel like it's just going to go straight down. Uh, no, it's going to spread out a little bit. Oh, I thought it would go all... <laughs> oh, no. I didn't realize how small lava spread was. Yeah, we have an inventory full of buckets. I went back to the uh, little hut over there. I mined so much iron whenever I was digging all the stone out. Um, yeah, that's not what I expected to happen there. So what if I just, like, put a bunch of lava down? Like, I am I really going to have to, like... Is this going to hit me? Am I really going to have to, like... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So maybe the lava part is just going to be... Oh, this is going to be very difficult, too. Uh... Like, get down, you know? Oh, man. So it'll spread here, but it's not going to spread far enough to go down. It'll stop, like, right there. We had one come out. Okay. And this is a pretty big area to cover with lava. So I figured this would be something that, you know, I could do. And I, I, I've found a very large, you know, lake of lava underground. Um, but I did not foresee it being like this. I thought that this inventory was going to easily fill this and then we'd be able to go on the brim. 
That's not the case. That is not the case at all. Okay. So that's that's a thing. Uh, and I can't hold more lava buckets in my inventory. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a bunch of trips. But this is what I'm going to be doing. Because, you know, we're going to need, like, this entire thing filled with lava. <laughs> Whoa, I guess I'm shift-clicking in there. Um, but yeah, there's just no... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Forgot you were there. And maybe in some parts it'll run down. I don't know. We'll go through this inventory. Oh, yes. The burn tick was short. Um, no, sir. I heard you coming up on me. Go in the... F <laughs> yeah, go in the fire. <laughs> it was perfect. Um, that's pretty good. But, like, it, there's little portions. Like, do you guys see this? This is, like, such a sketchy move. Wasn't there an area that wasn't filled in? I guess not. Um, so some of these parts... Like, back here, I know that's not going to fill in. But, like... Oh, how much? How much? Oh, I only have three buckets left. Okay, so I'm just trying to think in my head, you know, how many trips is this realistically going to be? Um, and I guess I should probably... Hold on. I can gather enough stone from the outside of this thing, I guarantee you. Let me just go to a part where I know I can just take a bunch of stone. Okay, so not right there. Probably right there's a couple pieces. Just so I can make, like, a pathway. <laughs> Essentially, so I can get into the little area. So I can break all these corner pieces, which is perfect. Okay, that should be enough. Break a few more corners. Yeah, molding this thing is going to be the part that I'm actually going to find really satisfying. Because that's something you can, like, you know, tangibly see. I guess we don't really need it to go any higher. I've lost a lot of scaffolding, too. It just falls on the ground, you know, and you can't always pick all of it up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need, like, some sort of, like, pathway. Something... Oh, dang it. Can I get it back? No, they, oh, I broke a lava source with that. Dang, dude. No, I didn't. No, I think we're fine. So I do much prefer ladders just because of the, you know, way you can go uh, down them quickly by falling. Um, I am going to make sure I bring my water bucket, which I think is right there. Because I do not want to lose. Oh, good gosh. There's so much lava. So let me place all this lava down and then we'll see where we end up. Okay, so we're up here with a full set of lava buckets. See, there, there's like a problem. Like, how do I, how do I get back in there to fix this? Um, I could, I guess, take my pickaxe and like come in here and like. I feel like this is so sketchy, because I don't really have any. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, it worked, but just barely. I'll probably take that piece, and then break this one, and then there we go. So that worked, kinda. I guess so I'm gonna make a bunch of trips down But like I said, I'm gonna place this inventory of lava and just see how far we can get I'm sure there's a few spots. I'll have to fix still. Yeah, there are I don't know lava's just weird to me Like why would it not flow down from right there? Why is it right there? Like what is that? Um, but I think there's I think on the second rim. It's kind of like smaller So maybe it'll flow down like I don't know. I'm trying to make it seem better in my head uh, but we should probably start like over in that corner and we can also prevent the mob spawns check this out buddy ultimate defense honestly like getting a nice sword is good and all but like that completely stops zombies and i guess skeletons is not too helpful for though right so we'll just kind of place them i guess no i figured out it's probably better to put them like this okay then there's a whole nother row of lava buckets no, see, it doesn't spread backwards at all. Like, what is that? I don't know. Okay, well, now you know what I'm going to do for, like, the next 30 minutes. It's not that bad. I just have to go back to that little uh, area where, where our quarry is and grab some more lava. Um, but, yeah, when I come back, hopefully I'll be starting on, like, this rim or something, and it'll be a little bit quicker. Sound good? See you then. Okay, guys, that took way longer than I care to admit, but it's done. And what's done is done. Let's remove this one. We don't need this access anymore, and I haven't used it since I was like first built it. Um, it's always nice to have scaffolding rain. Did I lose any? I guess I don't remember how much it was, so I hope not. Um, bread is helpful, but I mistake so bad. So we need to get some cows in here at some point, which is going to be fun to get all these things in here because, you know, we're in a, well, not the best situation. We'll go up there in a second and check it out. I just want to make sure it's not about to get dark. Um, okay, we should have time to check it out, but by the time we get back down, it's probably going to be time to sleep, so let me, oh man, <laughs> there's one block missing up there. Alright, let me climb up there, and uh, we'll check it out.
So I know this is the third time that I've said it, but if we could get 10,000 likes in this video, I would really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more from me in the future and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I haven't been gaining very many recently. Maybe I, I don't know, probably my own fault. Hopefully this is a big enough project to convince some people. Look at this. Now I'm sure there's some spots I've missed. It, it, it is the biggest pain to get down in there and fix them. It is possible, um, but it's a pain. So I hope... Thanks, game. I hope that there's no spots that I've missed. I don't think that there are. Um, I just know that I really don't want to fall into it. <laughs> I just know I really don't want to fall into that. It doesn't sound good to me. So we need to figure out some spots, like on the edge, to put lava. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I should break it somewhat and then have lava kind of spilling over the edge or how that's gonna work. Um, I think lava, if it was like Maybe like right around here, that would be a good spot for it. So like I said, I don't really know how to do this, like at all. Because, you know, the lava would, you know, realistically be coming from, you know, this pit here. But I can't have like a big divot in the side. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just like put the lava right here. Um, I do have enough lava buckets. I didn't bring a whole inventory full. Um, so if I just put like three right here. So this should like flow into there, which is fine. I, I don't really care. But mainly I care about this. So, uh, <laughs> I know it's going to become night, but we can deal with the mobs. Let's just see, uh, actually, you know what? Let's go down here and then do like a time lapse of it going down. And I'm trying to hurry. I know I'm hurting myself, but it's, it's honestly fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, we'll do a time lapse and, uh, we'll see how the lava looks as it comes down. Hopefully no mobs get too close to me. If they do, I'm sorry they ruined the time lapse. Alright, well I fought my way through the night to get back. Um, hopefully there's not too many bobs still out here. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'd say it looked good. You could see it when it flowed down. We'll go over here and check it out. Spidey friends, defend me against thine creeper. Yeah, go attack. I thought he was going to go attack him for me. Um, I don't know how many of these to put down. You'll have to let me know in the Discord suggestions or in the comments because... I'm done. <laughs> I can't do anything else this episode. I'm sorry, guys. I have done way too much in one day. Um, this is like a nine or a ten hour episode, so I really would appreciate it if you guys left a like, but if you don't want to, that's okay, too. I think it looks pretty sweet, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm very happy that the volcano turned out. I'm gonna use some of my extra stone to pillar up really high to get a good thumbnail, and uh, yeah, my first ever real mega base is almost done. I mean, it's... It, it, the structure is done. Now we have to do the inside and stuff. So if you have any ideas for the inside, leave them in the comments. I'm not going to give a secret code. Secret code is Neo is dead. <laughs> but D-E-D, not D-E-A-D. You know, I'm just dead, like, as a joke. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys. There's no Wednesday episode, by the way. Hopefully this makes up for it. Uh, but there will be episodes next week on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then hopefully Wednesday uh, next week. Right? Yeah, like next, next week. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!